So now we use the word celebration uh, to mark a significant or happy event with a social, joyful gathering. So tonight I invite you to be a bunch of nonconformists <laughs> celebrating in a very, very happy and joyful way the achievements that Skills for Change has managed to bless us with over the last 25 years. This has been a very exciting year for our organization and in keeping with our theme celebrating the past shaping the future I'd like to celebrate the past year a little bit. I would characterize this as a year of energy and growth for Skills for Change. In the area of client service we've been able to secure five new programs We've really confirmed a, a, a focus on working with internationally trained professionals and tradespeople. We've been experimenting with new modes of delivery, so looking at flexible uh, types of programs, modular itinerant services. And we've also introduced some enhancements to some of our existing programs. So I think I can say very confidently that we're very proud uh, as an organization of our accomplishments in the past year. But what is most exciting for me is to work in an agency that just has such incredible passion. Every day I work with people from every part of the world, and it truly is a privilege. I know that the energy and excitement that I feel every day when I walk into work and look at Olga's smiling face and her new incredible jewelry, and where she keeps it all, <laughs> that that really shapes the experiences of the clients who come to our organization. And it is this passion that makes the client experience at Skills for Change one, is one that is based on respect and hope. To bring life to this history, I would like to now ask two of the three founders who are with us tonight to join us on the stage, Libby Ackerman and Andrew Whittington. Rosalind and Andrew and Libby and Janice wrote this proposal. <laughs> Here it is. Do you remember it? <laughs> this is what started the Toronto Office Skills Training Project, which was the foundation for Skills for well, Change. 25 years ago this month, I think, 26 years ago this month, five of us went up to a cottage. Uh, we climbed up a hill that was covered with snow and um, Janice wore um, supermarket shopping bags on her feet because we were not prepared for it. We cleaned flies off and cleaned flies off and cleaned flies off and then we wrote the letter of intent. That was Sharon, Roz, Andrew, Janice and I. We would never ever have dreamt that that program, Jane, uh, Jane talked about 100,000 people that have been served over these 25 years. We started with four women, that first group, and we probably had about um, 15 maybe the first year. So who would ever, ever have dreamt that it would come to this? Also, if you look at the pictures of those early years, there were us, and the clients who were from Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. And when I look out at this room today, or when I look out at the NPA, I am so thrilled at the diversity that has happened with Skills for Change. We, we would never have dreamt it, would we? <laughs> it's exciting. It's, um, we are so thrilled that the agency is has been able to become such a dynamic, progressive organization, um, able to support newcomers at a time when there are still many, many newcomers coming in who need that kind of support. Thank you very, very much. So tonight, I have the honor, the privilege, the delight to introduce one of those many people who, like all of us here, has been touched by Skills for Change to share with us a story of success. Sudhakar Pulagan, welcome. I, I really appreciate uh, the efforts put forward by Skills for Change. And uh, with the persistence and uh, with the help of uh, organizations like Skills for Change, I guess it won't be a difficult task uh, for a newcomer to settle down in Canada. 
thank you very much and i wish all the good luck uh, if any job seekers are here and uh, thank you very much good night i'm going to get my fix excuse me <laughs> I, I cannot leave Skills for Change without a hug and a kiss from this woman. And I think she personifies, she embodies what we all uh, seek in Canada. I think what we were expecting to find in this country. She's generous, she's welcoming, she's soothing, she's supportive, she's nurturing, she's loving, she's always smiling despite all the challenges we throw at her. So, Olga. Welcome. It's a delight to know you. Thank you for your hugs, your kisses, your friends, all these years. And that is what most of our clients want, to work hard, support their families, make use of their skills and knowledge, and in turn contribute and give back to society. Hundreds of doctors, engineers, MBAs, agriculturists, teachers, physiotherapists, tradespeople, all of who come to Canada and to organizations like Skills for Change every day, their hearts filled with hopes and dreams. And I hope that Skills for Change will always be around to turn their dreams into reality one day. In the end, I want to say happy birthday, Skills for Change. May you continue to be a beacon of hope for the thousands who come to our door every day. So how about celebrating our inner children tonight? What's a birthday party without a cake? So let's get a cake in here. And what you don't know is that there is a lot of additional talents within Skills for Change. So I would like to introduce the Skills for Change birthday choir. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Skills for Change. 25 years serving immigrants. We know you'll continue with programs and services to build a stronger Canada with diversity at work. Now. We have here with us tonight Nalin Business and Hiroshi Miyamoto, who are dancers with Indance. And last year, uh, the New Pioneer Award recipient for the arts, Hari Krishnan, who is the artistic director for Indance, offered his support to this celebration and, and has made it's possible for us to count with the talents of these two wonderful dancers. Finally, and I promise it is finally, um, the last thing I'm going to say, I just want to thank all of you for coming tonight to being part of our celebration. We appreciate your engagement with us tonight and in the many ways that you partner with us every day to make sure that we can ensure that immigrants and refugees have the opportunity to really be a vital part of our community. So thank you very much. We'll see you next year and have a great night. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>